Hi there. I wanted to show this real fast how there is no such thing as terrorism. Okay, there are no terrorists because they keep showing these people getting beheaded on the, these journalists getting beheaded on the news and it's it's ridiculous, okay? These people don't exist. The war is fake. The ISIS is fake. There are people going around killing people in the name of Islam or in the name of another religion because of someone else's religion. That stuff's very real. But the whole worldwide Islamic takeover is not happening because of just the Isl the Islamists. It's because you got rich, fake, phony baloney Jew masons that are funding all this stuff that's happening. All these fake boogeymen, this war on terror is all made up and I want to show you, okay? This is from Iron Man 3. This conversation takes be place between a terrorist named the Mandarin, who in the movie the whole world's afraid of, and it takes place between him and Iron Man, okay? Iron Man catches up with the bad guy, and this is what they say to each other. My name is Trevor, Trevor Slattery. That's the bad guy. That's the, 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 the terrorist, the Mandarin, as he's called. Iron Man says, what are you? What are you, a decoy? You're a double, right? What? No, an understudy? Absolutely not. Don't hurt the face. I'm an actor. You got a minute to live, fill it with words. It's just a roll. The Mandarin, see, it's not real. Then how did you get here, Trevor? Um, well, I have a little problem with, um, substances. And I ended up doing things. No two ways about it, in the street that a man shouldn't do. Then they approached me about the roll. And they knew about the drugs. They tell you they get you off them? No, they said they'd give me more. They gave me things. They gave me this palace. They gave me plastic surgery. They gave me things. Did you just nod off? No, the lovely speedboat. And the thing was, he needed someone to take credit for some accidental explosions. He, Killian, that's a bad guy. Killian, he created you. He created me. Custom made terror threat, yes. Yes, his think tank thanked it up. The pathology of the serial killer. The manipulation of Western iconography. Ready for another lesson? It was my performance that brought the Mandarin to, li the Mandarin to life. Your performance where people died? No, look around you. Costumes, green screen. Honestly, I wasn't on location for half this stuff, and when I was, movie magic. It's all, it's all one big play. And they use the media to brainwash people and to convince them this, thing, this stuff exists. Watch this, CNN host, okay? Watch this CNN host, this CNN journalist, this mainstream media reporter, walk up and kiss the mayor. Look at that, let's watch that again. Hi, Mr. Mayor. Oh, big kiss. Do you think her reporting is going to be honest? Do you think anything CNN is going to do is... And it's not just CNN, it's all of them. What was that right there? Oh, uh, that was them being in bed together. Metaphorically and literally, probably. Who knows? Although I'm sure these guys just like little boys. So who, who, who can say for sure? And I'll just go ahead and end it with this. The U.S. military stunning conspiracy theory emerges from the archives. ISIS leader does not exist. Having noted that voter angst has been riled, propagandized, and fear-mongered to the point at which the most pressing priority for Congress is to fix terrorism, it is perhaps not entirely surprising that we discover deep down in the archives that giving the public someone to hate as opposed to something may have been an entire fiction. As the New York Times reports, or exposed, excuse me, in 2007, Abdullah al-Baghdadi the titular head of the Islamic State, according to Brigadier General Kevin Bergner, the chief American military spokesman at the time, never existed, and was actually a fictional character whose audio taped declarations were provided by an elderly actor named Abu Abdullah Al Whatever. You see? Listen to this. This is our own, the United States' own State Department. Take a listen here. Sorry about all the flopping around, but just it's hard to do with one arm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any reaction to the court's decision? dropping the charges against former President Mubarak? Well, generally, uh, we continue to believe that uh, upholding impartial standards of accountability will advance the political consensus on which Egypt's long-term stability and economic growth depends. But beyond that, I would refer you to the Egyptian government for any further comment. So, so, you could decide that all. What, so, what does that mean? It means that in general, we believe <laughs> that courts like it means should nothing. be... In general, we believe that uh, impartial standards and the justice system should work as planned. Yeah. But I don't have any specific comment. But, 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 but did, I, I don't have any more specific comments. But I, 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 wow, I don't understand that at all. 
What, what does that mean? You, you believe it? Of course you do. But was that what, were those standards upheld in this case? I don't have anything, any specific comment on the case. I'd point you to the Egyptian government. Can, can, can you see if the, can, can we ask for a push push your people a little bit hard, harder? Because I mean, you you call for accountability and transparency all all the time from all, any number of governments, and, and and so if if no one is held to account. If no one is being held accountable for, you know, for, for what happened, it would seem to me that you would have a problem with that. And if there's more we have to say, Matt, we will make sure you all know. But I mean, what you have said, that the, what you said says nothing. I mean, it just uh, it's like saying, well, we, we support the right of people to breathe. Well, if that's we great. Have a, but if further comments on the case, I will make sure all of you have it. Okay. Uh, Aren't you a little bit annoyed that the, mm -hmm. the person who was elected by the Egyptian people, Mercy, is languishing in prison while the person who is accused of murdering hundreds of people is actually out. And I appreciate and your efforts, Saeed. Said, I don't have anything no, further on this I, case. Saeed, I'm sorry. We're gonna it. we're gonna have to move Thank on. You. Thank you, everyone. That Egypt one is ridiculous. <laughs> Did you hear that? That Egypt one is ridiculous. That's the State Department calling their own propaganda ridiculous because they know it's all one big scam. I'll put the link below so you can hear it yourself if you didn't hear it very well there. I apologize, but that's just, I've tried. It's all one big scam, man, to get you to think a certain way. It's an agenda pushed by the fake Jew Masonic freaking rich dirtbags who are doing the bidding of Satan, Saturn, and the fallen angels. That's just the truth, and they're trying to screw everybody and get you to think a, a certain way. So thanks, everybody, for watching this. I appreciate all the support out there to the subscribers and the people who keep visiting my channel. Links will be below. Thank you again.